Hello guys, in today's video I want to tell you about very interesting problem with HP EliteBook 820 G1. Uh, the first problem is that it turns on itself when I only plug the power cable. I think that's concerned with the BIOS settings. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't got the access to the BIOS settings because I don't know the BIOS administration password. Sometimes there's CMOS uh, at a, I mean CMOS checks up, uh, sorry, I mean CMOS checks some at a code 502. I think that it may be because of the dead CMOS battery. Anyway, uh, I can, I should be able to boot the system. Uh, sorry. Okay, escape. Mm -hmm. Okay, F9. It can see the external USB hard drive but it is impossible to boot the system oh you see now something like this is happening it's very strange escape uh, but it is impossible to boot the system from uh, the other hard drive for instance when you had the system already installed on a hard drive and want to put it uh, want to mount it inside the laptop uh, this hard drive isn't compatible for this computer. I don't know why. Okay, once again F9, external USB hard drive. And now it's loading files from the pen drive. The light is flashing, it means it's working. loading very slowly about five minutes I think after five minutes uh, the window appears okay I'm Polish so install the agreement okay install and this is the most interesting part of the problem look there's uh, 120 gigabytes SSD disk inside and it shows uh, something absolutely different all the time I had the same problem with the old hard drive okay that's impossible you see Oh, okay, even let's try to delete it. Let's try to delete it. Let's try to delete it. Okay. New partition. And the same. And now look, Shift and F10. The command prompt opens and disk part list disk and you see the information in the installer and from the disk part is totally different I don't get it I don't get it 111 is probably uh, the hard drive, the SSD hard drive, and 29 gigabytes is a uh, pen drive. Okay. Exit. Okay. Okay, let's try to install it like this. 
or we can delete it again and again. You see, it's still impassable. And again, and new. Okay, I'm just click next and it always hangs at zero. I was patient, I left it like this for six hours yesterday and with no result. The light isn't flashing. And the hard drive light too. It isn't blinking. I can press the caps lock, I can get to the command line, but it, it's not going forward, okay? There is no reason to wait, it's only to show you the problem. Because I know the effect, there is no effect, and again it stacks, it, it, it hangs, but the caps lock is working. If you have ever had the same problem, please let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I will be very happy if I find anyone who knows the solution. Thanks for help. Thanks for watching. See you soon in the next video. Bye.